What's going on guys? My name is Jay Shot, and I really do hope you guys are having a splendid Monday today. But welcome back to another Black Ops Cold War video. Today we're going to be discussing more of the Season 1 Reloaded update. Obviously you guys saw last video, I played on the brand new map Sanatorium, which was the fire team map, and your boy had a blast for crying out loud. There's a lot of things to talk about, and if you guys love Black Ops Cold War, then make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel with those notifications turned on, because pretty much your boy's uploading 3 days a week. Week, make sure you go follow my Twitch. It's going to be twitch.tv forward slash jshotyt because your boy's going to be streaming there a lot more. But let's go ahead and get straight into the Season 1 Reloaded update. So the image that we're going to be talking about is this image on screen. And this pretty much gives us a full rundown on what to expect with this update. So the first thing that we obviously see is Firebase C, which is a brand new zombies map that's going to be coming on February 4th with the destruction of World War II era Project and station site. After investigating the unworldly Dark Aether anomaly in Poland, Requiem now sets its focus on the latest Dark Aether outbreak site, Outpost 25, known by the code name Firebase C. That is pretty interesting. So, up next, we got a brand new zombies mode, which is called Crank. Pretty much, this is similar to Cranked in multiplayer. Another thing for zombies, if you guys are on PlayStation, you get exclusive access to two of the maps in Onslaught mode. So, that's going to be Raid. And on February 4th, you're going to get access to Express, a Black Ops 2 Reimagined, which I'm going to be getting into detail in a bit. If you guys don't have Black Ops Cold War yet, you get a free access week from January 14th to the 21st. So, anybody with a console or a PC, could get access to Black Ops Cold War Zombies and get to play on a D machine, which is freaking awesome. So onto the right side of the map, we got brand new multiplayer stuff, brand new Warzone stuff, and let's just get straight into it. So the multiplayer maps, obviously we played on Sanatorium. Sanatorium was a blast of a map. It was freaking huge, but I really had fun on that map to be honest. But the map to your right, boys, Express. Express, if you guys haven't played BO2, was a classic competitive map in Black Ops 2. And if I could pull up the description right here. So Express, Obviously, it's going to be a 6v6 map, and it's going to be coming on February 4th alongside the Zombies map. Returning from Black Ops 2, Express arrives February 4th in Black Ops Cold War as a 6v6 multiplayer favorite, known finally as the high-tech train station that hosts many a jaw-dropping moment in competitive Call of Duty history. Express is a roughly U-shaped map featuring two train tracks looping around the transportation hub's main hall. The long-range combat can take place across the train tracks, especially when looking out from the sky bridges on the other side of the map. These areas are also great places to watch of the high-speed trains bolt by the station on one of the tracks, but it won't hesitate to take out any operator who doesn't mind the gap. So, Express, I really hope this becomes a competitive map for the Call of Duty League, and judging by the image, it looks to be like a one-to-one -one from Black Ops 2, but yeah, I'm really hyped for that, and I can't wait for February 4th. It's pretty much like a week a week or two from now but the next thing that we got is league play we don't have any information yet on what's to come with league play but league play obviously it's a competitive ranked mode and it's going to be a freaking blast playing this mode so i don't know if this is going to solve the skill based matchmaking but all i know is that ranked mode is back the last time we had ranked mode was like in I think World War 2 or Black Ops 4, but League Play is finally back. I'm really speechless about this. There isn't really any information regarding about League Play other than this image, but we'll have to see when this comes out, and I just can't wait to make a video on this. But the next thing that we got is obviously Warzone playlists and multiplayer modes. So for the multiplayer modes, we got Dropkick, and obviously this is like a capture the flag type mode. Um, for the snipers only, it's pretty self-explanatory, obviously it's a 6v6 type of mode with only snipers, but taking a look at Warzone, we got Buyback, Armored Royale, Mini Royale, and Rumble, which I believe it might be Team Rumble 50v50. But yeah guys, let me know what you guys think down below on all of this because I'm super stoked to be playing Black Ops Cold War because it had a drought for a couple of weeks. 
But obviously, if you're super stoked for Black Ops Cold War, and especially this update, then make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel with those notifications turned on, because pretty much, you're always uploading three days a week. Also, make sure you go follow my Twitch. It's going to be twitch.tv forward slash jshotyt, as I'm going to be, actually, I'm still thinking of a schedule to actually stream. So, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Other than that, guys, it's been jshot, and I'm out. Peace. One, two. Your last time to shine, kid. Shine a bright light if you're trying to find this. They all told it the death of hip hop, but always jumping on the next trends like hopscotch. The flow bring back the old vibes like Lazarus. Ain't put on.